So step this way and let your mind be free And by the way, welcome to the party Well, my name is Kim Asiatic And this is our stardom sit -em for week six Before we get started, we just want to remind everybody to go to YouTube.com slash fanless and vote for your boys. All right, to the first game, Chicago Atlanta. Now Forte is going to go to work. Forte, he's been dominant all season, and I say stick with what works. Roddy White has emerged as an elite option at wide receiver every week. Every week. Dude's always getting 100 and a touchdown. I do not like Michael Turner. Every other weeker. I sat him last <laughs> week and he went off, but this is the off week, right? Well, I mean, he's going against a tough defense in the Bears. Chicago's D looks nasty again. And so Tommy Harris is going to be back, I think. Um, I, that's why I don't like Matt Ryan. I think they're going to get to Matt Ryan if Tommy Harris is in there. Next game, Baltimore, Indianapolis. All right, for Baltimore, I like McLean. McLean is the one who's getting the carries at the goal line. He is. And I think he scores this week. Yeah, he got the rock last week. He had 22 carries, I think. Yep. And he only produced, what, 60 yards, yep. 64 yards. Tough defense. Tennessee. You know, Tennessee, Tennessee is not tough Indy. Deep. Indy's going to give up yards. I like McLean, too. I would start them both, but I do like McGahee better. Um, Reggie Wayne, that amazing catch. Of course, he's an every week starter. And Derek Mason was disappointing last week. Six for 37, I think. Uh, that's weak. But they're going to move the ball against Indy. Indy's defense is banged up. Um, I, I like him as a start this week. I don't like Peyton Manning, Marvin Harrison, or Joseph Adai. The three doo-doo amigos. Peyton Manning has, I think, six touchdowns, five picks, two lost fumbles. That's horrible. It's a new season every season. Don't start Peyton. All right, with the next game, we have Detroit and Minnesota. Everybody from Minnesota is a star this week. Bernard Berrien really stepped up at the end of the Monday night game. You know, of course, Adrian Peterson is going to be looking for vengeance after the Saints shut him down. He's going to get on track. Chester Taylor was productive somewhat last week. He threw a touchdown. Yeah, <laughs> he's going to kill the Lions. They're going to be he, up early and running the ball all game. Chester might be their best quarterback. Gus is struggling. Now, Gus has been performing all right. Um, I got him as a start against Detroit. Gus Rock? Yeah, I mean, I would start my little Chinese mama, Wume. She would fall <laughs> up and be throwing strikes. <laughs> 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 but I do like Calvin Johnson. Roy is a definite sit for this week. Oakland, New Orleans. All right, for Oakland, is McFadden healthy? I think he is going to play this week. I did hear he's going to play, but Justin Fargus is going to be back too. I say sit them both. There's so many question marks. I mean, Michael Bush could get the carries. I, I guess my only definite start in this game would be Reggie Bush. Yeah. I mean, he did fumble the ball twice, but he made two... You know, amazing punt returns for touchdowns. Not. Don't get me wrong, Breeze is going to have a good game. Oh, yeah. But I just don't like any of the receivers. Yeah, you know, it, it's kind of become a narrower race, though, because it's really come down to two guys, Lance Moore, Devery Henderson. Meacham is a dropper. He drops <laughs> the ball, you should drop him off your team. <laughs> He's got the Braylon disease. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he does the dropsies. But um, but I like Lance Moore and Devery. All right, with the next game, we have Cincinnati and... The Jets. I'm calling a shootout. Yeah, I'm with you. Shootout. I'm with you. Cause after so I like TJ and Chad. Mm -hmm. I, this is a, I'm starting Chad this week. I like the way you think. <laughs> um, I, I like Kotri and Coles. Psycho. Kotri and Coles right across from them. All four receivers I like this week. Sit Chris Perry. I am disgusted at Chris Perry. <laughs> I don't even like Thomas Jones in this game. This is going to be an air attack game. Carolina, Tampa Bay. I'm a little afraid of Tampa Bay's defense. I think this is going to be a slugfest, man. I don't know if there's going to be a lot of points on the board at the end of this game. I do like Steve Smith. I do like Ernest Graham, even though it's not a strong start. And, uh, you know, between Stuart and Williams, one of them will probably have a good game. But which one? Again, I'm, you know, uh, it's, you're just kind of gambling with those two guys. That does after Williams showed that he can get an end zone, too. So um, I don't have either running back as a sit. Whole Tampa Bay's offense, sit them down. Jeff Garcia might be at the helm. Carolina just shut out KC. And, and that Carolina's guy, looking good. Looking real good. Looking and, good. Uh, but I don't like Jake DeLome. I don't like Jake DeLome in this game. He had a big week last week. But, you know, that Tampa Bay pass D is elite. St. Louis, Washington. All right, for St. Louis, you start Steven Jackson this week. That's it. That's it. For that's the rest it. of the year, that's it. Don't even think about starting Mark Bulger. If you can, go out and pick up Washington's defense. They haven't put up a ton of points this year, so they might be available. Their next three games are nasty. I think they've got St. Louis, Cincinnati, and then Detroit. 
For the Redskins, I like Portis. He had a monster game monster. against the number one run defense last week. He's emerged, man. He's battling for that top spot. Well, not only that, but I like Santana Moss to bounce back with a big game this week. I like everybody in Washington this week. St. Louis is so good. You see what the Giants did to them? They were putting up points in bunches. Start Chris Cooley. Start Jason Campbell. Start Antoine Randall L. Start all of them. Uh, Maybe not anybody else that I didn't name. Because he's pretty <laughs> bad after that. All right. With the next game, we have Miami and Houston. Man, Miami. Who saw that coming? Wildcat. <laughs> I mean, they beat, New <laughs> they beat New England and San Diego. Back to back. Back to back. Running the Wildcat. That is crazy. So, for that reason, you start Ronnie Brown this week. I even like Fasano and Camarillo. Camarillo has emerged as their number one receiving option, which isn't saying much with Chaz Water. Well, he had a touchdown last week. Yeah, and you know he's put up nice yards in every game. He's been nice as in 60 or 70. So in deep leagues, you need to pick somebody up. He'll probably be out there. I like Andre Johnson. He bounced back last week with a strong game, had over 100 yards, a touchdown. Yeah. I think he's a good play this week. Oh, yeah, definitely. I even like Owen Daniels. I mean, Houston or Miami's defense – is going to shut down the run game. You saw what they did to LaDainian Tomlinson last week. And, yeah, you know, Steve you know, Slayton's a sit to me. Exactly. For, for that reason, I say you sit Steve Slayton. Next game, Jacksonville, Denver. Just think. All right, for Jacksonville, you start Mojo this week. Mojo. I'd even give Fred Taylor a look. You know I don't love Fred Taylor this year. But against Denver's defense, you know, they're, gonna, they're moving the ball on the ground. Eddie Royal is hurt. So I like Brandon Stokely. You saw him get that nice little touchdown along the sideline. Uh, Denver's going to be airing it out because they're not going to be able to run on Jacksonville. And so, you know, Brandon Marshall, of course, Stokely. Dallas, Arizona. All right, for the Cowboys every week, I say start all your Cowboys with the exception of Patrick Creighton. Even if you have Felix Jones in this one, you can start Felix this week. I'm calling Edge a sit this week, yep. and my only start, you know, Bolden, I'm not sure if he's back. He's supposed to be out for this game, so just start Fitz is the only start this week. See, I like Steve Breston. He went seven catches, 77 yards last week with Anquan out. He's the number two in, in you know, a big-time passing game. They're going to be going to there a lot against Dallas, and you can. You saw what Hoosh Manzada did last week. All right, next game we have Philadelphia and San Francisco. I think Philly's going to get it right for once. For once. San Francisco gives up like 300 yards a game passing. Donovan, Deshaun Jackson, even Reggie Brown. Because, you know, they're going to give up yards and somebody's got to get them. Kevin Curtis is going to be back in a week, maybe two weeks. Go ahead and scoop him up because that's really Donovan's favorite. I'm not sold on Isaac Bruce. He mm -hmm. still looks a little old to me. Asante he, he gets a touchdown good. here and there, but, you know. Don't don't start Isaac Bruce this week. JT O'Sullivan's gonna have no time. <laughs> Next game we've got Green Bay and Seattle. Last week I said start Ryan Graham. Mm -hmm. They were playing Atlanta, right. I think. Right. And he didn't do anything. Right. You know, Rogers had a pretty good game, but Grant did nothing. So I say sit Grant this week if you have him. Wait until he proves something before you give him a chance. And I say start Julius Jones this week. And that's for you, Kung Pao Kick. <laughs> Kung Pao Kick loves Julius Jones. I do like Matt Hasselbeck. Matt Ryan just threw for three touchdowns, four touchdowns or something, didn't he? He went to work. He had a good game. He had a good game. Of points. And so if he can do that, Hasselbeck finally has his weapons back. And for the Green Bay receivers, I say start Greg Jennings this week. Driver went to work last week, but Jennings is the man. You know, Driver's going to be off and on. Jennings will always be there. All right, for the next game, we have New England and San Diego. Well, I like Randy Moss this week. I think Randy's out to prove all the doubters wrong. There's a lot of people are saying Randy's giving up because Brady's not there. That's true. And I think Cromartie takes a few chances this week, and Might Randy Moss gets some big plays. And I like Chambers. Going up against those smaller New England cornerbacks. Yeah, I like Chambers. I think too. Chambers can get some big plays also. Last game, Monday night, New York Giants, Cleveland. You got to start Plax. You got to start Brandon Jacobs. You know, you got to, of course, Kellen Winslow. The, the, the names you hear every week, but. Are you, know, you leaning towards Jamal? You know, I think Jamal Lewis is going to have a decent game. I don't like Jamal this week. Yeah. I actually, I don't like any of the Browns. I say if you have Braylon, you're probably going to start him anyway like I am. <laughs> so that's the only guy. All right, that's our stardom system for week six. Be sure 
to vote. YouTube.com slash Every day until the 19th. <laughs>